<laughs> well, no, none of us can do it. <laughs> Sandy Sarge, thank you. That's awesome. Okay, our next speaker, this is a true story. Uh, from what I understand, that you can inquire about more details uh, if you see her uh, off stage. but she was kicked out of a convent for lewd behavior. Yeah, so she also wanted to be a meteorologist on TV. There's that, there's a lot of, and she's actually right here right now already. So that's great for me, because I don't have to do like all that introduction stuff, but I will do a little bit right now, teaching you how to master freedom with this simple underrated trick. Let's give it up for Laura Polichick. When I was 11 years old, my father died suddenly. I dived into a deep depression and became suicidal. I lost my ability to play. Fast forward 10 years and a light bulb turned on. I lost two people in my life, my best friend at age 17 as well, and I realized life is short. Life is here to be lived. Instead of asking why, I started asking why not. And you know what? The world became my playground. Where can I go? What can I see? What can I do? I traveled around Europe for a month with a friend of mine. And we had this freedom to go where we wanted to any time we wanted. We went to Versailles and saw the king's palace. We went through ice castles <coughs> in the Swiss Alps and saw ruins in Rome. I felt free as a bird. Freedom felt so amazing. This is what play was like. Where do you come alive? What's your playground? Because play is a path. And the question is, is what path and choice do you make? Is it where the adventure begins? Or are you going to stick to the ordinary in the mundane. Because you know what? When we're adults, we start wanting to acquire and achieve and have those lists of accomplishments throughout our life. And then we start running around aimlessly from one thing to the next, one thing to the next, without any intention or thought. We do the same thing over and over again. Have you ever had that day where you don't even know what you did? Anybody ever have one of those days? Yeah, it's not fun. We have these to-do lists that make us feel overwhelmed and exhausted. We feel drained. Ever have those days, it's just, you don't even laugh or even smile anymore? Because we feel caged, isolated. We withdraw from life. We don't even feel emotions anymore. Who's ever been in a work environment where you feel like you've ever been in a cage? Yeah, exactly, right? But the idea is we need to get curious. We need to realize that there's infinite possibilities out there. And I want to challenge you this. I want you to move outside your comfort zone because I want you to take that next step. Do that next thing. Take that next big challenge. Because that's what play is all about. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? I moved outside of my comfort zone. I was an unathletic kid. And who ever thought I would have become a rock climber and an ice climber? This built my confidence more than I ever even imagined. Cue the bubbles. Thank you. So what we're doing is it gave us a lighthearted feeling. I got playful, and it made life easy. Where do you need to be more playful? Because when we started thinking now of the box and playing, we had a little bit of spice to our life. Do you have any relationships that need a little more spice, a little more kick? Yeah, because when we do this, we start bringing together a sense of community, a sense of connection where we bring it all together, where people challenge us to be better, and we grow and be better human beings. Because you know what? We start trusting ourselves, and we take that leap of faith, and we start trusting others. 
I had to trust others going up a 17,000 foot mountain. Who do you need to trust more? Because you know what? When we start playing, we have this sense of adventure. We become better leaders. We start collaborating more. And then we start going home on time, which then makes us a better parent and a better spouse. And how does that, does that make you feel more alive? Because you know what? Maybe not everybody has experienced death here. But maybe you have experienced exhaustion and overwhelm. So where can you bring this challenge to your life? Because play was how I gained my freedom back, how I regained my life back. So I'm going to issue you a challenge. For the next 30 days, will you get more playful? If you go to bit.ly uh, backslash Ignite Denver Play, you can download 30 ways to unleash your playful spirit and join me in a 30-day challenge to get more play in your life. Thank you. Laura Polachek. <laughs>